hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. upon Joshua Selman for the Kairos time, the time to favor him, yet the set time is come. Someone lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Someone pray, someone pray. Thou shall arise. Shabrakete baruska de balanto shabrakete siata. Embrakete baratuska baratu shabrakete gebelakato. Thou shall arise. Give him no rest until he establishes your life, your family, your territory. Someone is praying. Rest round about. Rest round about. Rest round about the fullness of joy. Rest round about. He that told you have asked for nothing. He says, Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Are you praying? Are you asking? Ask and you shall receive. Let God arise. He says, And let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Verse 2, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As what's melted before fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Verse 3, he says, but let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Someone say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that this is my season of victory. My season of rejoicing therefore oh god arise arise in your vengeance arise in judgment open your mouth and begin to pray over the works of darkness that fight the integrity of your speakings in my life please pray oh god arise mention the name of your family Oh God arise, mention the name of your spouse. Oh God arise, mention your ministry, mention your business. Oh God arise, mention the name of your corporation, mention the name of Nigeria, mention Africa, mention your nation. Oh God arise, thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion, thou shall arise. And have mercy upon the oasis. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selma for the time to favor her. Yea, the Kairos moment is here. Lord, show me favor. I didn't come from a family with any advantage by default. If you do not help me, I don't have an uncle or an auntie somewhere. But I look to Yahweh. Yahweh, my hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, I look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh, one more time, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Listen, remember that men are not your source, they are only channels, the real source, praise God. From whom all blessings flow, the Kim writer says. 
it comes from God it only comes through men when you exalt men above God you are in trouble can I tell you this truly God can give favor to men God can pick you like this and say where is he I, I'm, I'm, I'm in Abuja here and God can pick you and give an instruction and tell men to honor you and in one week God can use men to change your life in a way that you'll be afraid of your own testimony believe this oh favor favor provoking prayer there is a way you can hold on to the four horns of the altar except you are not tired of your situation if you keep giving flimsy excuses you may sit down there as a preacher as a businessman you are not just an entrepreneur you can go back my father and my god i bow my knees to our father and begin to pray favor oh god i call for favor and whilst you are praying god will wake someone and say the one billion that you have kept for charity to help people there is one of my sons and my daughters that requires help from there that person is the only breadwinner out of 12 people if you do not arise listen how did the salvation of the gentiles come read your bible acts chapter 10 cornelius was praying cornelius was sowing seeds and god himself told peter get up don't call what i've called clean unclean there is a call carry your presence straight to the house of cornelius that was where the salvation of the gentiles started listen to me please hear me minimize knocking on the offices of men and ask god to do the knocking for you those men will not listen to you they are too busy living out their destinies don't go around getting angry and saying this person you have what it takes to help me when god knocks see there is a name he is called he's called the father of spirits he can wake any spirit in the middle of the night have you considered this family and he says do something for them and someone just shows up in your life and says by divine instruction i don't like you but by divine instruction he said every month for the next two years i should give you this and you are wondering it's a lie you may think these are some crooks trying to play games with you can i tell you this the bible says what things soever ye desire what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that thou receivest it and thou shall have it how could i lead a ministry like this without the favor of god this is the, there are many of you having high blood pressure today I'm, I'm not trying to insult you forgive me but it's true if god does not show you favor life is hard unbearably hard where will the finances come from even if you have money where will the access come from do you know what it means for gatekeepers to open their hearts over you it has to be god in one minute i'd like you to pray father may may favor come upon my life may favor come upon my life difficult things become easy when the grace called favor is upon you Ratesa de Balandas Kata Brekate Parakosh Kate Brendegedi Balahaskia. Ye have not because ye ask not. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen, listen, please listen. The last key, I will give it to you so that we'll pray. We're out of time. The last key to favor 
it's found in esther chapter 2 and verse 15. i call it the esther anointing there is the grace for favor can be imparted Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 something is coming on someone right now hmm. Pay attention Now when the turn of Esther the daughter of Abihel the uncle of Mordecai who had taken her for his daughter listen carefully was come in unto the king she required nothing but what Haggai the king's chamberlain the keeper of the women appointed and Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many all them that looked upon her next verse 16 the Bible says so Esther was taken to King Ahasuerus in his royal house in the 10th month which is the month Tebeth in the seventh year of his reign and the king loved Esther above all the women and she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins so that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of Vashti when you read the verses before 15 the Bible says there were many women and yet Esther went to this strange man called Haggai he had worked with the king a long time he knows what the king is looking for and she asked him what does the king really want and Haggai said there is an oil I will give you just keep rubbing on your body for one year that's all forget all this how to work the Holy Spirit can search the heart of your destiny helper he knows what he wants hear me my brothers and my sisters Truly, there is an anointing for favor. There is a grace called favor. The assignment of that grace is to insist on the heart of men. The proof of favor is not money. The proof of favor is the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you and towards your assignment. Access to systems and structures. This is the grace that has been so difficult to come upon many believers because of dishonor because of lack of value because of disobedience to the principles of relationship because they do not ask and finally because they have not cared for such a grace some have received the grace for prayer some have received the grace for signs and wonders some have received all kinds of graces but the grace and the impartation for favor we have a few minutes we are going to spend the next three to four minutes no prayer point i'm going to leave you with the god of your salvation everyone you're going to cry and say father i can't remain the same not after this meeting those following online from any nation please pray you came to the house of god this is service to change your life think of your children while you pray think of your children's children while you pray think of the work god has given you while you pray Go ahead and pray. Pray. You're on your way to better days. Pray. Something is changing. You're on your way to better days. You're on your way to better days. Never weak again. Ah. You're on your way to better days.
God's prophecy for your life. You're on your way to paradise. Status is changing. There's no more decline. You're on your way to paradise. Status is changing. No more decline. You're on your way to paradise. You're on your way, on your way, on your way to better day. You're on your way, on your way. Go ahead and declare, Kali Karus Kata Pradeka Tebalekiria. I tap into this system of advantage. I fit all my background. I fit all my limitations by the power of the Holy Ghost. I tap into this grace called favor. This grace called favor. This grace called favor. Favor with God. Favor with men. Favor with God. Favor with men. Favor with systems, favor with structures, favor with gatekeepers. Shkata pagata pagatos koto prenda gade, ekata pagata prokoto pas koto pregata bala gade. Kata la kata prekiti barus koto prondos koto, ekata prekata prekata bros koto bala bala. Pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen, I just feel stirred in my heart to give us one prayer point. Every spirit sponsoring any closed door because of my carelessness in complying with these principles. First, I obtain mercy, and then number two, I scatter that door. It must open for me. Every spirit that closes the door leading to the next level of my Christian experience, I obtain mercy. Mercy for dishonor. Mercy for being mediocre. Mercy for not understanding relationships. Mercy for not being prayerful. And mercy for rejecting this impartation. But then I command every devil, lift your hands it's time for the door of my destiny to be open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. Listen. The law of impartation demands that number one, you must believe in God who is the source of all things number two you must believe in the vessel that he's using remember when there was a problem with oil the instruction was go to them that sell and buy it now you know how you buy it buy it with honor buy it with value buy it with relationships I just gave you currencies Buy it with honor. Buy it with value. Buy it with relationships. Buy it through prayer. Go to them that sell and buy. Are doors closing over your destiny? Then you need favor. Go to them that sell and buy. Is your business crashing, your financial life crashing? affecting your spiritual life you used to have time for god time for prayer time for worship to give to the house of god right now you who was on fire you've gone down spiritually because of looking for tea and bread go to them that sell and buy who is this king of glory the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, 
Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The power and the glory forever Amen. lifting and you're rising. Amen. Amen. To the change of season. Amen. You don't have to kneel, but I want to pray for you. He says, such as I have, give I unto you. Listen. I don't stand by any human sense of bragging to claim there is nothing we have that has not been given by God but I will be lying and God will judge me if I tell you by the privilege of God's grace we have not obtained this grace also it's been difficult for believers listen every time God sends a grace and a word to Jacob it is because of Israel there are things you cannot do in your life until this mantle is upon you there are doors you can't do end time ministry without the favor of god you will compromise beyond your imagination the key to integrity is not only character it is favor access to the hearts of men many of you will marvel at the things that happen to you i'm telling you that a door that for 10 years have refused to open you carry this esther anointing if Esther as a village girl with one encounter with this oil oh it changed my life I'm indebted to God forever some of you are crying think of your children right now you're about to receive an impartation think of mama at home years from now add 10 years to your age 20 years from now add 20 years to your age no achievement no nothing I don't want you to feel bad but it's time to get serious there is a system of advantage you have not tapped into few minutes and we're done those following online, following from whatever nation, God is giving you another opportunity again. Azaria family. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know it works. Brothers and sisters, I know. I know. There is disgrace. Mama, you may be old in age, but this grace still works. Apostle, I didn't have the opportunity to go to school. Find comfort. Favor works. Apostle, I'm tired. People keep disappointing me politically in business. Find comfort. I come from a village. It's difficult to even see the map. Find comfort. Favor is not a license for laziness. That's why I told you it's not just unmerited access. It is divine help. God and men in partnership holding your hands to lift you. Please pray one more minute. You're about to receive this impartation. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the storm you gave me a brand new song to sing to you 
that's why I will lift up my voice and sing. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Yeah. <laughs> Now in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office by the privilege of the election of grace. And I stretch my hands first over you here in Abuja, our family in Zaria, those following from around the globe, from America to Europe, to Asia, the Caribbeans, as many as are following and will follow in the name of jesus the one who has shown us mercy i decree and declare right now receive ye this grace called favor receive ye this grace called favor i place this mantle upon your life take this grace now in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ. In the morning, experience favor. In the afternoon, experience favor. In the night, experience favor. In Nigeria, experience favor. In America, experience favor. In Europe, experience favor. Every door that needs favor for, to be open. I declare may favor open that door now. Hear me. Every strategic relationship you have lost through carelessness and lack of discernment, I call on my God who is also your God. Let there be a supernatural reconnection now. dishonor has shut that was once open and dishonor shut it by the mercy of the God of David we reopen that door now and in the name of Jesus many of you are gifted but the favor to announce you is not there you are so gifted gifted to a point that is institutions that should be patronizing your gift in the name of jesus by the in the name of jesus christ i give your gift visibility now by this gift let those who have the capacity to both discern and reward you may they find you in the name of Jesus <laughs> hear me in this new season of your life every relationship you need to connect with some of you may not know them international relationships ministerial relationships I declare may that connection happen for you now everyone anointed commissioned and ordained to find you and hold your hand in this season wherever they are i stand by the prophetic i call them into your life now hear me i stand under the corporate grace of the fathers of faith who have transferred these graces to us and under this corporate anointing, I declare 
in the name of Jesus as a contribution of this supply to the body of Christ find the grace for favor by this grace shame reproach hear ye the word of the Lord let God's people go now hear me by this grace upon you whoever has forgotten you no matter how long in the name of Jesus by favor may the book of remembrance be opened over you now even Pharaoh who hated Israel with passion was the one who ended up giving them gold and everything they used to build the tabernacle in the wilderness can I tell you this when favor comes upon you it's not only friends that bless you anybody directed by God I pray for you whoever must bring forth their credibility their time their resources their endorsement to shift you to the next level I call them forth by prophecy now now I'm praying for the body of Christ but now let me pray for the koinonia global family you belong to a family that is mysteriously favored of God I pray for you in the name of Jesus out of the abundance by reason of this prophetic connection step into superior realms of favor by this favor may your life be a fearful wonder first to you and then to everyone around you in the name of Jesus Christ in one moment you can find your destiny helper in one moment it does not take long for doors to open in one moment don't say it's too late no in the final service someone has to receive you can make that someone you are we together now in one moment that what i could not get from january till november my god i sense such an anointing in this place in one moment i'm going to give you a minute to still pray place a demand father this is the final service what you told me in january the realm that you said i would be walking in i am yet to see it manifest i place a demand I place a demand on your grace by faith. God can turn your finances within the days that are left, not weeks, not months, days that are left. In one day, God can rewrite the story of your family. In one day, God can redefine your life again. Do not 
despise the training of the spirit with you you will be a mighty man i'm telling you this by the spirit you will be you will command power in the spirit rest upon you now let that grace rest upon you now let that grace rest upon you now just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out just just guide them where they are I'm saying it again there is a grace that quickens men to pray may that grace like never before let it rest upon you now Help them, please. Let, the, let that grace rest upon you now. Number two, I truly want to pray for your understanding of Scripture. Please hold on, mommy. The spirit of revelation. There are not many people that have carried this grace. I don't know why. You see, let me tell you, revelation is not just a reality you step into. There is an operation of the Holy Spirit that actually opens you. It brings you to a realm of enlightenment. You become knowledgeable, precise, accurate spiritual information with the results that follow. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus. Everyone that must drink of this fountain, everyone that must drink of this grace, access to the mysteries of the kingdom, light, I stretch my hands. Let it rest on you now. Let it rest on you now. Let it rest on you now. Let it change the way you see. Let it change the way you see. Let it change the way you perceive. Let it change the way you receive. In the name of Jesus Christ.
that you are a carrier of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Young and old, male and female, let it rest upon you now. Let it change your ministry. Let it change your finances. Let it change your life. Let it change your approach to things. With wisdom, let it come excellence. Excellence upon you. For signs and wonders, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power for signs and wonders, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Let your power for signs and wonders, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, Let your power for signs and wonders, rest on me. demonstrate the reality of the life and the power of God except power comes upon you I know what power can do I'm praying for someone now a lady a gentleman a Deborah an Elijah I don't know who must drink of this that you go back and begin to command a strange order of the miraculous take that grace now take that grace now I release that grace upon you with it you will pray for the sick and watch them heal. With it, you will speak over people and watch doors of families open. Receive the grace for signs and wonders. I, I release it upon you from the depth of my heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Let your power, let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest what on time? me. Let your power, let your power, power to prosper, rest on me, rest on me. Listen, hear me. Truly, there is the power to prosper. Honestly, if you have never believed anything about scripture, believe this one. There is, there is a real dimension in the spirit called the power to prosper. If it is not on you, it will be clear that it's not on you. There are many things. Listen, the power to prosper is not about money. Don't mistake in it. The power to prosper has nothing to do with finances. It only reflects itself in finances. The power to prosper stops things from dying in your hands. The power to prosper is what is responsible for advancement. It makes everything to produce. He shall be like a tree that is planted. Our, the mistake is that every time we say power to prosper, we are thinking Naira and Kobo. No. There are people who have money without the power to prosper. When the power to prosper is upon you, nothing dies. You become Pula and Hepsiba, a well-watered garden. I want to pray for someone. This is a cure to struggling. I'm coming to favor, but many of you, but even if in your, listen, if your finance is not working, the power to prosper, I have taught this and I want you to listen so you don't just shout amen. I hope I'm not wasting your time. There are three dimensions of the operation of the power to prosper. Watch this now. Number one, when the power to prosper comes upon you, it comes upon your head. That is the first place it comes to. It does something to your thinking and your understanding. The power to prosper does not just give. It adjusts, it realigns. 
when the authentic power to prosper does not come to your bank account it comes to your mind job said in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord was upon my tabernacle there were two kinds of light the lights that shine upon his head and the lights that shine upon his feet it is the power to prosper that works upon your mind it heightens your level of intelligence, your acumen, your understanding of things. You begin to comprehend things in an unusual dimension. It is that dimension that fishes out solutions in darkness. That is what gives you the treasures that are hidden in dark places. I want you to believe what you are hearing. I know what I'm talking about oh, when it has to do with this one. This is not a lecture. So you find out that only one little thing seems to be working and everything is dead around their lives just because you have money does not mean you have the power to prosper the power to prosper has nothing to do with material things it only commands material things hallelujah your mind the second area where it functions is your hands representing productivity you can have creative ideas but the fortitude to execute them, to now turn them into solutions that schedule rewards for you, many do not have it. The power to prosper comes upon your mind, then your hands, and then the third dimension is your feet, representing guidance and direction. When the power to prosper rests upon your life, it begins to culture your work so that you go to the right places, influenced by the Spirit of God. Isaac sowed in that land. The key word is not the sowing, is that land. If he left that place, you see, it is the power to prosper that can make you to know that the season has ended in a place. It is the power to prosper. It has the assignment of insisting that you move forward. It has the assignment of seeing that you excel. Whatsoever he doeth prospers. That is the assignment. Many of you are just learning about the power to prosper now because every time we talk about the power to prosper, people are thinking their bank account, their ATM, it works there. But that is the latter part of the power to prosper. You can have money by going to school and getting a job and get something coming. When the power to prosper brings you finances, the difference will be clear. You can get finances by many other means, but if it comes by the power to prosper, it is dangerously defended. There is longevity. Do you believe what you're hearing? Because I'm about to release that grace on someone. There are people here, nothing is working in your life. You are sincere, you are educated, you love God, but you lack the power to prosper. You are in ministry, receive this one because it is the power to prosper that works in partnership with the grace for favor you are receiving that that brings the helpers that come to hold your hand as you serve it is a power to prosper that brings the people who need to help you in ministry the helpers of the war the power to prosper that for no reason should you fail do you believe what you're hearing father in the name of jesus christ I stretch my hands over my precious people and I'm praying for someone who is thirsty, desperate and hungry in a way you have not experienced before let the power to prosper truly let this grace that causes men to prosper rest upon you now let it rest upon you now let it come upon your job let it come on your ministry let it come on your finances let it come on your mind let it come on your hands. Let it come on your feet. I say it again. Let it come on your mind. Let it come on your hands. Let it come on your feet. In the name of Jesus Christ. That by this prophetic declaration, nothing dies in your hands. In the name of Jesus. Are you tired of receiving? Let's talk about favor. Is there such a thing as the favor of God? Can it rest upon men? And can it be seen that a man carries the favor of God? The answer is yes. There 
is truly a grace called favor. This one is what gives you dominion in the world of men. The assignment of favor is not to bring things. Favor is directly connected with men. The ministry of men resides within the jurisdiction of favor. Is what makes men like you. Expressing itself in uncommon kindness. Expressing itself in uncommon access. Are we together now? Uncommon acceptance. The clearest proof of favor is the presence of men. Quality men to help you. Quality men to stand with you. Quality men to lift you. When the favor of God is upon a man, it brings struggle to an end. It brings struggle to an end. How do you know the favor of God is not upon you? Because the men who should be used by God to attend to the matters of destiny never seem to show up. You don't call them by saying come. You call them by receiving favor. Let me tell you this. If koinonia, by the privilege of God's grace, if koinonia did not carry this grace for favor, it would be a disaster. It would be a joke to want to rise from Zaria here to the ends of the earth. No. Right in this place, there were people coming from all over the world. America, UK, with the whole crisis, terrorism, and everything, they would come fly from Lagos to Kaduna, inconvenience themselves, not have the best of hospitality, but still endure. That's what happens when favor is upon you. Favor is what gives you space and territory. They got not the land in possession by their own sword, by your favor. Favor is what stops emptiness from your hand. Exodus 3.21 And I will give you favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not favor. It compels people to want to give you. Some of you, this is what you need to remedy for the financial calamity that right now is upon you. You can learn the ways of finances properly when the pain and the trouble is gone. But as per the trouble you are in now, it is only the favor of God that will bring you out. Loneliness is one of the evidences of lack of favor. No man. That's what the man said, Bethesda. His problem was not a healing problem. The water was there. The power was there. But he said, I have no man. I have no man. That was his problem. Why are you still in this situation for 38 years? When an angel comes to stir the water every year, others came there and they came two days before the angel arrived. And they got healed and walked away. But one man remained there for 38 years. And here was what he said, verse 7. I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me there, I went to school, but I have no man who will speak to me. I can walk, I can do the business, but I have no man. I'm a great anointed man of God, but I have no man to help connect me to the next level. Let me pray for you. Let your grace, this grace called favor, rest on you, rest on you. Let your grace called favor, rest on me, rest on me. Can I tell you this? Many of you have heard the great things that God is doing by family. And I say these things to the glory of God. I can only begin to tell you the mighty and manifold things that God is doing through this ministry. It is remarkable and tremendous. Everywhere across the globe, the favor of God, the mighty wonders of God. But this is where it started. When favor rests on you and you actually receive it, then sit back and watch how you tame life like an animal. You know how people tame horses, how people tame animals. Animals that are stronger than them, but they develop their mechanism. You can tame life like an animal on the strength of favor. In the name of Jesus, let favor by the Spirit of the living God upon a man, upon a woman, upon a man of God, upon a businessman, 
upon a career person, upon a student, upon a parent. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let it begin to attract quality men to your life. Quality relationships to your life. In the name of Jesus. By this impartation, everything that looks like reproach around your life, where you are alone and men do not show up to help you, I pray for you. Let that tragedy called Ichabod in your life come to an end now. Hallelujah. The final impartation for tonight. The final impartation for tonight. You're going to receive the grace called speed. Why do you need speed in your life? Because destiny is a function of time. And many of us, by default, we are already late in life. Did you hear what I said? By default, not because you are wrong. Some of us got to know the Lord late. Some of us got to go to school late. Some of us right now is 10 years since after graduation. 20 years since after graduation, you've not gotten the first job. When will you be able to build a house? When will you be able to take care of the necessities of your life with integrity and without compromise? Hallelujah. Speed is one of the spiritual systems for time redemption. The Bible says, walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise, redeeming the time. There are two principal ways in the kingdom by which we gain dominion and exact dominion over time. Number one is called restoration. Number two is called speed. Let me focus on speed tonight. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for someone who has been laid back in life. I pray for someone who has been delayed. I pray for a family that has not, you are not at the place you should have been now. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace for speed. Receive that grace for speed. My God, receive that grace for speed. Let it rest upon you now. In one month, you will achieve things that have not been done in years. I say it in one month. You will achieve things that have not been done in years. In one month, you will achieve things that have not been done in years. In the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me. As you go, carry these graces and may they speak for you. As you go, let every man who sees you on the way bless you. As you go, let every mountain that stands before you be cleared out of the way for your sake. As you go, you shall not die. As you go, you shall not want. As you go, you shall not beg. As you go, you shall not borrow. Hear me? For everyone shouting amen here, you will still shout amen next year. By the power of the prophetic and the apostolic, I shut the gates of the grave. I shut the gates of accident. I shut the gates of plane crash. In the name of Jesus. And let me speak to you. No devil anywhere will kidnap you or your children. Say amen, oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every conspiracy to bring you pain during this season, I declare may you be exempted. As God is touching you here, may he touch your loved ones. You will not hear bad news. I say it again, you will not hear bad news. I declare health and vitality for you. Your body will not break down. Your finances will not go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's give Jesus a mighty hand clap. Someone may need to make that commitment and say, Lord, my sincere parents, my loved ones may have failed because they did not have knowledge. But will you use me as that priest? Let me be that mediator between the old and the new. Someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart.
Someone pray. Please pray, please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till there's no HIV just manifested in their life like that. Like from father to children, there was no history of that demonic thing. But everybody like that. I know people who are healthy and sound and fine. About to get married, they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is HIV and the person said, I can't, there is no way this would have come. Medically certified. When everything scatters, they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound. I'd like you to pray and say in the name of Jesus Christ. Say it, say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority. I am a spirit with a mortal body. I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air, the realm of the sea. Someone is praying. Shabagata barate gate balaka to shoprondos. Ekrete ke barato soto brenda gete belaga dia. Shakata braska de balaka ta. Embraka ta baraka to shada gete. Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening. Ke bate ka baraka to shkedia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward. And I declare, Holy Spirit, I am in partnership with you. Every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life in this season I declare I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shabagada ba gade ba kata brande gade ba la sosia. Ebra katosh kodo brande gade ba lekata. Shabrande gade ba ruskiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every system of authorization working against my life, my family, 
my destiny by the blood of the eternal covenant. Be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Shake it up, katapa la katosh. Embrace it, katapa roskotopa. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Systems of authorization fighting your influence, fighting your destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now hear me. This prayer you are about to pray, many miracles are going to come out of it. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare that this body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life, I command, depart now. Open your mouth and pray. Depart fibroids. Depart high blood pressure. Depart cancer. Depart. Someone pray. Tumors. Growths. Depart. Pelakatosh Kadila Pariata. Blood conditions. Depart. Shagata bagata bagatos kate, embrete ke baruso segete balatos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Please don't be distracted. Jeremiah 22, 29. Please give it to us quickly. Jeremiah 22, verse 29. It says, O earth, 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 hear ye. O earth, earth, earth. It says, hear ye the word of the Lord. The earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. It says, the profit of the earth is for all. And even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus, my portion given to me by God, I decree and declare through the ministry of men let it gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and pray god is a god of portion god is a god of portion pray god is a god of portion
Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance that has come as untimely death, negative things, closed doors, I reject it. Someone pray. Shapakatos and Brekatakatos. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. In the name of Jesus, I reject it. Shabagada Barakos, Abrakatos Kateba Lakatesh. Hallelujah. Listen. The implication of having dominion over the realm of the air, the realm of water, the realm of earth, is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Judges, I, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture. Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got it. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements. Did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day? not the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord walk in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural I decree and declare the sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me I have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired. Genesis 1 from verse 20. I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see. Are you ready? And God said, let the waters do what? Bring forth abundantly. So water is connected to abundance. And water in scripture means men too. Are we together? It is not just about physical water. Water is also prophetic and symbolic of men. It says, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life. The fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. 21. Let's read together. One, two, three. And God created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Water here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life for my assignment through the ministry of men i declare let it be released unto me go ahead and pray let the waters bring forth abundantly someone pray someone pray Let the water spring forth abundantly. Shabra gada bala gada prosko do balando shaliatas. Ekre fene gete parato shada braga dala kato sabreyas. Hallelujah. Psalm 79 verse 11. Psalm 79 verse 11. Let the sign of the prisoner come before thee. According to the greatness of thy power, preserve thou those that are appointed to die. It's an appointment. I can reject an appointment that you give me. We can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it. Is that true? Please look up. For there to be an appointment, it means there must be some sort of consent, even if not mutual. There has to be an awareness. Okay, you go to apply for a visa. You expect an appointment. There is an understanding between you and the, the, the consular officers that there is an appointment. So when the Bible talks about an appointment, it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed. Even if you are not there. Like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children. And they just know that your appointment is on the 25th. So when the Bible says there are people appointed to die, it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them 
already made the appointment in the name of Jesus Christ every appointment whether by covenant whether by ignorance or by disobedience with the spirit of death I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of Jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to Nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of Esther you will find out that Haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure. No terrorist attacks at we. No. They consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go. That's why it looks like it is effortless, regardless army, regardless whatever. I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best. But there has to be a spiritual advantage. Can I tell you the truth? If you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength, you will be a victim of several casualties. It is not like Satan and terrorists are so powerful. Their advantage is not in their physical armory, I tell you this. Their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit. And it is good for us to pray, but for God's sake, prayer in me in the same thing as not praying. Hallelujah. So they set a date. And even though her man was dead, the decree of the date for destruction still continued. It took another decree to change it. The Bible says where the word of a king is, it says there is power. He said, declare ye that thou be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is wheat in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as wheat as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to walk supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation in this city and around please don't say it does not concern you don't make the mistake of esther when her man was plotting evil esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and mordecai sent a warning he said do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us you will be spared for you do not know whether it is for such a time as this everyone who has been kidnapped even those killed they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving you to move out in the morning and in the night so don't say it does not matter shout this from the depth of your heart say in the name of jesus i take my place as one who has authority and I decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed, the spirit of terrorism, the spirit of oppression around our land, the spiritual power that supports you. We break it right now. Go ahead and pray. The covenants that support you be broken. The altars that support you be broken. The enchantments that support you 
be broken. The priesthood that supports you be broken. We prophesy to the north, we prophesy to the south, we prophesy to the east, we prophesy to the west. In the name of Jesus, we declare the ministry of angels. May they excel in strength by the word of the Lord. We declare this by the decree of the watchers. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is no rest and no peace for evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me just add this one last one. You are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you. Listen, listen. You have to reject bad news between now and December. You, you, your, your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that will depress you and waste your time. It is within your power. Yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees. Are we together? You are going to mention the name of everyone, including yourself, and declare. The Bible says the name of the Lord is not only a weapon of victory, it is a strong tower. The righteous can enter and they are saved. Begin to mention the name of your loved ones, your spouse, your children, your parents. Lord, we declare covering, prophetic covering. They are exempted from the arrows that fly by day, exempted from the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. A thousand shall fall by your side, ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. With your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked. Hallelujah. Let me make one decree over your life and we're done. Revelations 3 and verse 8. Revelations 3 and verse 8. Let's start from 7 and 8. Revelations 3. To the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, and hath the key of David. He that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot who are those that shot and who are those that open he had the key of David he opened it that means if you don't have the key of David you can open a door that a man can shut you can shut a door that the man can open but it says he that had the key of David and by the mystery of the key of David that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 it says I know thy works behold I who has the key of David I have opened before thee he says I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because I acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name I stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit and according to Revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 I decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open doors of favor be open and remain open Doors of lifting be open and remain open. 
doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open doors of speed be open and remain open hear me i release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the hold of the key of david has opened Makesh may this prophetic word judge them Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging, that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand, in the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to the King of Kings, the giver of all good things. In Jesus' name I pray. Okay, so I'm going to pray right now and I want you to bring all the people who the anointing of the Spirit comes upon. The Lord is revealing to me that there are people right now and this is a prophetic word for those people. Please hear me. I'm hearing the mantle of a restorer these people it's not just restoration that is happening to you there is a mantle coming on you to go and be a restorer in your family i release that grace now in the name of jesus bring them the mantle of a restorer no matter where you are under the influence of this anointing please bring them very quickly let's save time the mantle of a restorer you came to church and you did not know that destiny brought you here because there is there is an assignment that is connected to you and that fire that grace go and restore go and restore he said they are taken for a prey and none said restore please help the ushers their hands may be full if there's any anyone on there the anointing close to you you don't have to wait for the ushers just help them so that we bring them in front very quickly the mantle of the restorer is falling on someone you may be a man of god you may be a prophet i don't know why god is starting with an impartation but again i release that grace i release that grace in the name of jesus christ Go and restore. There are destinies at the mercy of your grace. Go and restore. Go and restore. Go and restore. Some of you, it may be your loved ones. Some of you, it may be the people in your company. Don't allow witchcraft to keep destroying people. Whereas God has mandated that you will rise, I decree and declare once again, may that grace locate you. The mantle of a restorer. The mantle of a restorer. You may be a man of God and you came here. God brought you here to lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ, obtain that grace. Hallelujah. Hear me. I'm sensing that the direction God is moving us tonight, there are people God is isolating. I'm hearing the word chosen. Like you are being selected among the crowd in many some of you in your family out of 10 people i'm hearing that word chosen bring them out chosen it's like there is a mantle that is selecting people for assignments 
strategic prophetic assignments bring them out please chosen this is what I'm hearing in my spirit chosen chosen predestined chosen oh you have been chosen you may not look like it but there is a, a grace upon you bring them out I'm saying it again. You may not look like it, but you have been chosen. That mantle is looking for you. That mantle is looking for you. Male and female. Apostle, I may not be educated. You are still chosen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Chosen. Bring them out. Chosen by the Spirit of God, chosen by the Spirit of grace, chosen. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child, but everywhere I shall send you to, you shall go. And to whoever I shall instruct you, you will say that which I have asked you to say. I'm declaring by the Spirit that mantle is still looking for people. You are chosen. You are chosen. Chosen by the Spirit of God. Out of your family members, out of different people, you may not look like it, but the grace is still on you. The Bible says you are a chosen generation. It calls you a royal priesthood. It says you are a holy nation, a peculiar people, mandated to show forth the praises, is the word doxazo, of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Into his marvelous light. I'm seeing the number four. And I'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic, the eyes of the seer. Four, just four people. I'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now. The eyes, help them please, my God. The eyes of the seer. I activate that prophetic. May that mantle rest upon you. The eyes of the seer, authentic manifestation of the prophetic. I set you on fire. I ignite your sight in the spirit. The number four, the prophetic. Probably someone came here to receive that grace. You came here crying for that manifestation. You need it for your life and ministry. I declare over you, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. God is moving in the midst of his people. The prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came, is, is even in your lineage, your physical lineage, but you are yet to carry that mantle. I release that grace, I release that grace. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing someone with the name Favor. The Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I don't know who that person is. Your name is Favor. I'm declaring who is Favor. In the name of Jesus, every shame and every reproach and everything 
that is not of God. I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure that this prophecy is for you. Don't just come out carelessly. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing that releases the grace upon your name. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let favor follow you. In the morning, favor. In the afternoon, favor. In the night, favor. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a prophetic word and God is speaking to someone I would not say things like that except God to told me your destiny is in the United Kingdom I don't know who that person is but this is what God is saying your destiny is in the United your destiny is in the United Kingdom just help them it may not be easy but please just manage them your destiny is in the United Kingdom I, I don't know who that person is but I'm speaking by the prophetic how you will get there you may not know but I call upon the God of Jeshurun since he has spoken I place grace upon your life and I move you by prophecy locate destiny locate destiny locate destiny right now listen listen I use this prophetic word as a point of contact anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny I relocate you to your place of destiny. I relocate you to your place of destiny. I'm saying it again. There may be a man of God. The reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned. I relocate you to your place assigned. There is a location for every mantle. And Isaac sowed in that land. Not any land. That land. There are lands when you sow into you go down. He said, Abraham, come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that I will show you. And in the obedience of your advancement, I will make you a great nation. I will make your name great. There are many people, the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning. And hear me, there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad. They are suffering and wasting time. Greener pasture is not in a physical location. Greener pasture is in the voice of God. Anybody wrongly located across the globe, I take you back to your place of destiny. the grace for speed. you must understand now here I want you to help the ushers there are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do all right so um, especially if you are a worker in this ministry once it's time please help the ushers there's only so much they can do I promise that I was going to work with time do you know why I release the grace for speed because I have discovered listen to me there are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned number one is restoration number two is speed are the twin forces 
that help men to catch up in destiny. For some of you, many things have left you behind, but I want to release that grace. And when I, please, I wanted to help them because people will start running. And so I wanted to help them. I stretch my hands by the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic, I decree and declare for every destiny that has been grounded, I introduce to your life right now, the grace for speed, release, receive it right now. Speed, 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 speed. Receive that grace, speed, shabakatabakatos. Speed, I command it, I declare it, I decree it over your life. Man of God, speed, businessman, speed, Elijah, receive speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to rebuke spirits for as long as I live. No demonic spirit around my vicinity and over my people will survive. I, I already sense fire. Matesh Ali Kapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare that at the count of three, every spirit, witchcraft, every manipulation, connected to bloodline you must let god's people go now are you ready one two three shout jesus lift your destinies now lift your destinies out of their lives now out of their destinies now please bring them out very quickly bring them out very quickly I decree and declare every foul spirit, every unclean spirit, it's time for you to leave. Let God's people go now. Bring them out very quickly. Wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go. I'm praying again. Every spirit tying down anyone here, any man, any woman, I'm saying it again at the count of three let the fire fall one two three shout Jesus let the fire fall 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 let the fire fall, let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. in the name of Jesus Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. Hello, Gim Madonna. I will I will say it again when it's time to prophesy, but I just had the opening of a key and I saw a door open and I want to declare it I don't know who that is for but there is a strong grace that is coming upon you as I speak now and you will be surprised to see doors open Lord as to bash get help that lady doors be open now doors be open now doors be open now Open now! I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. I say it again, it may not be for everybody, but for someone who are praying, you are fasted in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and your God. I say it again, doors be open now. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors of ministry. Marital doors.
some of you by reason of these open doors things that have been hanging that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand in the name of Jesus let it enter your hand finally For in Jesus name we pray please wave your hands to Jesus wave your hands to the King of Kings the giver of all good things in Jesus name I pray okay so I'm going to pray right now and I want you to bring all the people who the anointing of the Spirit comes upon the Lord is revealing to me that there are people right now and this is a prophetic word for those people. Please hear me. I'm hearing the mantle of a restorer. These people, it's not just restoration that is happening to you. There is a mantle coming on you to go and be a restorer in your family. I release that grace now. In the name of Jesus, bring them. The mantle of a restorer no matter where you are under the influence of this anointing please bring them very quickly let's save time the mantle of a restorer you came to church and you did not know that destiny brought you here because there is there is an assignment that is connected to you and that fire that grace go and restore go and restore he said they are taken for a prey and none said restore please help the ushers your hands may be full if there's any anyone on there the anointing close to you you don't have to wait for the ushers just help them so that we bring them in front very quickly the mantle of the restorer is falling on someone you may be a man of god you may be a prophet i don't know why god is starting with an impartation but again i release that grace i release that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and restore. There are destinies at the mercy of your grace. Go and restore. Go and restore. Go and restore. Some of you, it may be your loved ones. Some of you, it may be the people in your company. Don't allow witchcraft to keep destroying people. Whereas God has mandated that you will rise, I decree and declare once again, may that grace locate you, the mantle of a restorer, the mantle of a restorer. You may be a man of God and you came here. God brought you here to lift you. In the name of Jesus Christ, obtain that grace. Hallelujah. Hear me. I'm sensing that the direction God is moving us tonight. There are people God is isolating. I'm hearing the word chosen. Like you have been selected among the crowd in many some of you in your family out of 10 people i'm hearing that word chosen bring them out chosen it's like there is a mantle that is selecting people for assignments strategic prophetic assignments bring them out please chosen this is what i'm hearing in my spirit chosen chosen predestined chosen oh you have been chosen you may not look like it but there is a, a grace upon you bring them out i'm saying it again you may not look like it but you have been chosen that mantle is looking for you that mantle is looking for you male and female apostle i may not be educated you are still chosen in the name of jesus christ chosen bring them out
Magabradi gebereko saziada kasho brande gebeleko siata. Chosen by the Spirit of God. Chosen by the Spirit of Grace. Chosen. He told Jeremiah, do not say I am a child, but everywhere I shall send you to, you shall go. And to whoever I shall instruct you, you will say that which I've asked you to say. I'm declaring by the Spirit, that mantle is still looking for people. You are chosen, you are chosen, chosen by the Spirit of God. Out of your family members, out of different people, you may not look like it, but the grace is still on you. The Bible says you are a chosen generation it calls you a royal priesthood it says you are a holy nation a peculiar people mandated to show forth the praises is the word doxazo of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light into his marvelous light I'm seeing the number four and I'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic, the eyes of the seer. Four, just four people. I'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now. The eyes, help them please, my God. The eyes of the seer. I activate that prophetic. May that mantle rest upon you. The eyes of the seer, authentic manifestation of the prophetic. I set you on fire. I ignite your sight in the spirit. The number four, the prophetic. Probably someone came here to receive that grace. You came here crying for that manifestation. You need it for your life and ministry. I declare over you, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. God is moving in the midst of his people. The prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came, is, is even in your lineage, your physical lineage, but you are yet to carry that mantle. I release that grace, I release that grace. It comes upon you right now. And crap and echo shall like a brand like a beretto siata. Crack up a cotas got a belendo satiache. Hallelujah. I'm hearing someone with the name Favor. The Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I don't know who that person is. Your name is Favor. I'm declaring who is Favor. In the name of Jesus, every shame and every reproach and everything that is not of God. I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure that this prophecy is for you. Don't just come out carelessly. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing that releases the grace upon your name. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let favor follow you. In the morning, favor. In the afternoon, favor. In the night, favor. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a prophetic word. And God is speaking to someone. I would not say things like that except God to told me. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I don't know who that person is, but this is what God is saying. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. 
your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Just help them. It may not be easy, but please just manage them. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking by the prophetic. How you will get there, you may not know. But I call upon the God of Jeshurun. Since he has spoken, I place grace upon your life. And I move you by prophecy. Locate destiny. Locate destiny. Locate destiny right now. Listen. Listen. I use this prophetic word as a point of contact. Anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I relocate you to your place of destiny. I relocate you to your place of destiny. I'm saying it again. There may be a man of God the reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned. I relocate you to your place assigned. There is a location for every mantle. And Isaac sowed in that land, not any land, that land. There are lands when you sow into, you go down. He said, Abraham, come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that I will show you. And in the obedience of your advancement, I will make you a great nation. I will make your name great. There are many people, the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning. And hear me, there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad. They are suffering and wasting time. Greener pasture is not in a physical location. Greener pasture is in the voice of God. Anybody wrongly located across the globe, I take you back to your place of destiny. the grace for speed. must understand now here I want you to help the ushers there are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do all right so um, especially if you are a worker in this ministry once it's time please help the ushers there's only so much they can do I promise that I was going to work with time do you know why I release the grace for speed because I have discovered listen to me there are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned number one is restoration number two is speed are the twin forces that help men to catch up in destiny for some of you many things have left you behind but I want to release that grace and when I please I want you to help them because people will start running and so I wanted to help them I stretch my hands by the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic I decree and declare for every destiny that has been grounded I introduce to your life right now the grace for speed release receive it right now speed 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 receive that grace speed speed I command it I declare it I decree it over your life man of God speed businessman speed Elijah receive speed in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to rebuke spirits for as long as I live no demonic spirit around my vicinity and over my people will survive. I, I already sense fire. 
Matesh Alikapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare that at the count of three, every spirit, witchcraft, every manipulation connected to bloodline, you must let God's people go now. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Lift your destinies now. Lift your destiny. Apakatos ketebata. Krepe ketos kepe toskata. Prakatos ketebeleka. Out of their lives now. Out of their destinies now. Please bring them out very quickly. Bring them out very quickly. I decree and declare every foul spirit, every unclean spirit, it's time for you to leave. Let God's people go now. Bring them out very quickly. Wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go. I'm praying again. Every spirit tying down anyone here, any man, any woman, I'm saying it again. At the count of three, let the fire fall. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Let the fire fall. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hello, Madonna. again when it's time to prophesy but I just had the opening of a key and I saw a door open and I want to declare it I don't know who that is for but there is a strong grace that is coming upon you as I speak now and you will be surprised to see doors open Lord as to Segete Bash help that lady doors be open now Open now! Doors be open now! Doors be open now! I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. I say it again, it may not be for everybody, but for someone who are praying, you are fasted in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and your God. I say it again, doors be open now. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors of ministry. Marital doors. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.